going to be moving the antenna uh, again here because I've got a more stable mount for it. Right now it's currently sitting on top of the roof just on a tripod. Quite windy here at times so the last thing I want that thing to do is to get a nice gust of wind and blow it right off the roof. Maybe land on the concrete and crack or something. So I just wanted to show you right now my signal strength. This is the best I've been able to get the Wi-Fi here. You can see that in my previous video I had I was connecting to a station called KK Highway and I was getting a like minus 40 dB, minus 45 dB on that link. I was having a lot of dropouts, I was having some packet loss, I was having a lot of latency. And after doing some research, I found out that that 40, 45 dBm is too hot and creates a lot of retransmissions. I spent a little bit of time moving it around, connecting it to different APs, and right now I have it connected to something called KK Center, a signal of you know negative 60 to negative 65 roughly. You can see that my transmit CCQ is still not great. I had it about 70%, but this could also be because it's moved a little bit from its initial location, a tiny little bit, because uh, I did mention that it's just sitting up on a tripod there. Probably does move a little bit with the wind and uh, some, you know, some trees blowing interference. The internet's very stable at this point, and you can see my transmit and receive rate is uh, 52, 57. This fluctuates as well, is much, much more reliable in this setup I have here. Let's get up on the roof and I'll show you the, the mounts and uh, see if I can get, get this sort of signal strength back the way it was. All right, so as for the mounting of the access point, I told you right now it's just on that tripod. I think you saw it earlier, but I'll show you again. Um, what I ended up ordering is, uh, I ended up ordering this thing. It's like a GoPro suction cup mount. It's a tri-mount, so it should be pretty uh, stable once it's locked down. Now, I don't know, I don't know, it seems to be okay quality. It's, it's plastic, I mean, this is plastic. Looks like there's some metal you know, there's some metal hinges and joints, and there's a ball head here, which is kind of nice, but for my purposes really won't serve any any sort of benefit because the access point doesn't have a quarter inch thread mount on it. So this is one piece here, and this can be tilted and whatever. The other piece I bought was just an extension tube uh, for a tripod. So this is just a CAFCO, CAFCO, K-E-T-C-O-1, uh, and it comes, with, it comes with a quarter inch it comes with it comes with three quarter and then a quarter inch uh, threaded adapter, you know, f for what I need it for. Quarter inch thread mount is there. That I'll just screw that into here. Then essentially, it just becomes exactly the same thing I have up on the roof now, which is just like a straight pole. And then I'll just mount the uh, the thing here, and actually, I can even put it up a little higher if I wanted that tightens and then I'll just uh, that's pretty much it I'll suction cup that either to the roof of the vehicle if I can I don't know if I will be able to because it's kind of it's ribbed up there for my pleasure so I might have to uh, do the opposite and maybe on the window on the window instead and just tight, untighten this you now I might have to put it sort of in this type of position if that doesn't work. So we'll see what we're dealing with once I get up there. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use the suction cups on the roof just because uh, you can see it's ribbed there and I don't think they're wide enough to hold a, a suction cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it either on the side. Yeah, I think I'll just mount it on the side. So let's see how that goes. Okay, first thing we need to do is wipe down the surface. So I'm gonna try and go just below where it is and just wipe that surface, see if we can mount it on the side here. That should be okay. I Think. Okay, so here's the existing, here's the existing one. Yeah, I broke that one, so what else is fucking new?
All right, so that looks like it's done for now. Uh, let's go down and uh, do the final adjustments there. Okay, so this is where I ended up here. Uh, my signal strength is about 60 dB, so that's uh, pretty good. Horizontal and vertical means the the antenna is well, pretty well aligned uh, with the other station. The noise floor is 95, so there's pretty low noise. And the transmit CCQ, it says 63 right here, 63.7, but this is just a screenshot. It fluctuates between 60 and 75. And the transmit and receive rate uh, is showing 39 and 57, but that also fluctuates because it is on auto. But uh, so far, so good. The internet's pretty stable. So the test will be later on tonight when people jump onto Netflix, YouTube, and Pornhub. And <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching.